Hi everyone. Uh, this is a follow-up video to my earlier look inside video about this XH Data D220 radio. And uh, in that uh, video I said that I thought I'd ordered the 10 kilohertz version, so 10 kilohertz stepping version of this radio as opposed to the 9 kilohertz one. And I had a commenter in the comments to that video, Paul Steckler, uh, comment that he'd get been in touch with XH Data and they told him that there wasn't a 9 and 10 kilohertz version of this radio and that they were all 1 kilohertz on medium wave. Uh, so, yeah. If that's the case, then there aren't two versions of this radio and it works worldwide well on medium wave. So, if you don't know what I'm talking about, that's fine. I'm going to back up and we'll use this it elite radio to demonstrate what the problem is, or demonstrate the difference anyway. And uh, and then I'm going to see if I can, if we can hear that this has one uh, kilohertz stepping. And I think I could. So let me demonstrate the problem. And this is an easy radio to do to use for that because it flips very easily between uh, 10 and 9 kilohertz. So let's do that. And we'll come back and I'll compare this one to this one, which is 9 kilohertz, but I don't think it actually matters for the purpose of this demonstration. Hopefully this will all make sense when I do it. All right, so we'll put this aside and we'll turn on the Elite Mini. And my apologies, I've got the air conditioning on up here because it's a hot day in Toronto. Okay, so we're on medium wave. And as you see, when I turn the dial, going down here, it steps in 10 kilohertz steps. Now, 10 kilohertz steps are the stepping distance in North America, so Canada, the United States, Mexico, I'm in Toronto. This is how far apart stations are. In most of the rest of the world, they're 9 kilohertz apart. So, but you'll notice with this radio, when you step it, and you'll have to hear for this when I stop talking and turn it up, but that when you pull off the step, the station drops, right? You're either there or you're not. And that's because this is really a pretty good performing radio when it comes to medium wave, despite the fact it's got tiny, tiny antenna and whatnot. It's quite sensitive, and it blocks a adjacent. It doesn't. Uh, overlap with adjacent channels very much, so the filters have been well set. So at 1040, we don't hear anything. Sorry, at 1050. Right? Okay, so let's see if I, if I can switch it to uh, 9 kilohertz. I believe you do that when it's held off. You hold that down, and it should now be 9. Yeah. So, you'll see it steps to 35, would go up 44 and 53. Now this is a very strong station, but it's not centered. So we can't in fact turn tune properly into 1050, which is one of the sports stations here in Toronto. Again, it's so strong that it doesn't really matter, but we can't tune to it properly. We can't center the tuner on it because it's set to the wrong spacing, right? And we can turn it off and we can put it back. Oh, maybe I need to wait a little longer. There we go, 10, right? So we're back on 10 kilohertz spacing. It'll refresh when I, right? And it's hard to hear through the tinny little speaker on this radio, but that makes quite a difference. And if you go through the whole band, and I've got another video that demonstrates that for weak stations, the being on the wrong step means that you simply don't receive many of them. And the relative volume of some of them uh, just goes up and down. So we can look at this radio, which uh, this is a XH Data D328. Uh, I really like this as a shortwave radio and an FM radio. But it has the problem on medium wave. Oh, 
Yeah. You see some some stations are quiet, some are loud. That's because it's not centered properly. It can't tune them in properly. All right. I want to hear, I don't know if you can hear this in the background. I'm going to turn it up. It's turned up about all the way. But you can hear like a lot of very big, I think the battery is going dead in this one, but I think you can hear a lot of very sort of strong steps, right? Like on this one, when you tune from station to station, you're on or you're off, right? The step's big and it's quiet so you don't hear a click. Now, so that means that if we tune, if this is, is in one kilohertz steps, we shouldn't hear that. We should be able to hear the station come in and out of tune, right? So we're, we'll either be hitting it or not. So here we are. You see what I mean? It seems, let's, just making sure we're on medium wave here. So let's try that again. You see, hear that? We don't get the quantization. You can hear a little ticking. Or more in a game, William. But I, and of course it locks on, right? But I can tune off it a little bit. The final team, you're listening to the National Football League on Sports Two. So I've got a couple of sort of quanta where, you know, that station comes in well. Not just one, which is the case with this radio or this one. So I think, and I'm not sure you can hear it in this video, I hope you can, but with the noise in the room and me using the lav mic, I, I don't know if you'll be able to hear it, but I think you can hear that the stepping distance is smaller than 9 or 10 kilohertz. I don't think I can say much beyond that. Um, I don't have a signal generator, so I can't try playing with that to see if I could. I mean, I do have a signal generator, but I don't have an RF generator. So, uh, so I don't really have a way of testing it with a known signal. But I'm convinced. I'm convinced that I can hear that this has a different step size than this one. And it's not just that this one has 9 kilohertz ones. It's that this one is much smaller, in fact, by a order of magnitude, right? By a factor of 10. So that, I think, makes this radio even more interesting than, uh, than I've thought before. If this is the approach XHJ is taking with their new radios, first, I think it makes it pleasanter to tune in, uh, in medium wave. And second, I mean, we don't have to worry about this 9 or 10 kilohertz problem. So I'd be curious to hear your thoughts about it. If you have one, do, do you notice that? Does it compare? How does it compare to other radios you have? This one, this one. Obviously, an analog radio isn't going to have any steps, but this should be more comparable to an analog radio in terms of how it feels like to tune, and I think it is. Now, that's not going to be the case on shortwave, where everything has the same step worldwide. In FM, then, this means medium wave turns more like, tunes more like FM on this radio. And that's neat. Again, it's complicated a bit by these little tuner chips tend to lock into the signal that they, uh, that they detect. So, you know, but um, so far, so far I continue to be fairly impressed by this thing. Again, keep in mind, it's got a little ferrite that big in it. So it's not going to be a DX whiz, but for a relatively busy urban medium wave band, this looks like a pretty, like it's a pretty good choice. Anyway, thanks for watching.